Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and I know I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, this is one of my first videos, or not first, but first official videos with Camtasia. I'm not going to render this in HD just because I want to get this out there because I haven't really made videos during this winter break. I've been busy. But anyway, um, on the channel, somebody requested a tutorial, and I thought I should get to it. It was uh, about three days ago, ZDK Snap. So if you're watching ZDK, hope this video will help you out. He wanted to know how to comment back. He said, How do you cut the audio out but not the video? So this is video going to be vice versa, you know, not not only vice versa, but many ways. Like, how do you get the audio, not the video? How do you get the video, not the audio? Uh, using one application. Now, if it's a YouTube video distinctively, or, you know, Vidler, stuff like that, keepvid.com does a, a good, quick job, but it doesn't always do it perfect. So you can get just the audio, not the video. So if you want to get like a music video, see a lot of people do that, music videos. Or just do trailers, stuff like that. Uh, you can do that via uh, keepvid.com using like, you can get the FLV file, the MP3. But if you want to get perfect, you know, converted files or convert files for iPod format, stuff like that. I like using the desktop application called MediaCoder. MediaCoder has a lot of um, de devices that supports, has a lot of... Uh, Format uh, converter, so DVD, VOB, Pro, AVI, DivX, XVID, so it has a lot of stuff. It even has um, AMR, which is one that's used for, uh, uh, what do you call it, for cell phone ringtones, so you can even convert your s sounds into that, so it has your supported formats all right here. Even H.264, so really high quality stuff. And even uh, slims your file size down, so that's a really good uh, application for that too. But anyway, so you download it, you can get some plugins for it if you want, it's up to you. And this is what the interface looks like. So here it is. Uh, this is Media Coder. Let me drag in to make sure you guys can see it. And uh, what you want to do is you want to get a video. So for example, or whatever, he wants to cut the audio out, but not the video. So um, I got this video that I recorded yesterday. I just called it Cron Job. It's actually a 10-second like test for HD, and I posted it on YouTube. But I just you just drag it into the library, and it pops up right here. And what you want to do is you have these tabs right here in the bottom. I'm gonna, so... You have your tabs right here, and you have audio. Now, let me stretch it out, actually, because it kind of messed it up. But you have audio, and um, so you can choose one your encoder. So, like, you know, your codec, Lame MP3, Vorbis, you know, AAC, stuff like that. So choose what you want, and you can hit Enable Audio or Not Enable Audio. And same thing for video. So those are your two main tabs you'll be working with. I know the interface is a little bit confusing, but you get used to it. Your output folder is up here. So I set mine to my desktop. Um, so... Uh, uh, for example, you can make video bitrate based, two pass, three pass if you really want really good quality or even quality, just strictly quality based. Uh, format H.264 and uh, MP3, uh, MP4 container, stuff like that. So uh, you mess around with that. Now, he wanted the audio, not the video. So, for example, um, I'm going to do it vice versa just because my video is actually, you won't be able to hear it, so I'll do what he wanted. So I'm going to uncheck enable audio, and I'm going to click. Uh, enable or make sure enable video is checked and then I would just hit start and uh, maybe it won't take that long so I'll try this out okay so um and I'm just gonna make it a WMV actually so I don't want or so I'll go uh, so you can choose what you want Windows Media Video and then I'll pick WMV it shows up here WMV or just move I'll just use AVI. And then I'll just hit enable video. And then you can mess around with all the other stuff if you want. It's up to you. But then I just hit start. And it runs through. And see, it's going pretty quick because it's a small file. And it's going to output it to my desktop. And what it's going to do is it's going to output an AVI file without the audio enabled. And it works pretty quick. I mean, it may take a second because it has to go through all these phases. It does process files. Uh, all this, you know, it runs through all this stuff, output stats, and all that stuff. So it's going to take a second. And then once you get, uh, once it gets done, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back here and it finished. Uh, and so after that, it just scans the bitstream and that put it to my desktop, I believe. And I'll tell you it's done in the little library thing right there. Um, so after that's finished, you can actually just, it should output where you told it to in mine is in the My Documents folder, not my desktop, my bed. So let me just exit Media Coder because I'm not using it anymore. And. Unopen my documents. Oh, okay, sorry. It's been uh, it was open on the other monitor already. Okay, so and then outputs it here, and then see it's an MP4. But then uh, I guess I'll play it. Actually, sorry about that. You couldn't see that, but anyway. So yeah, then it outputs it there, and you're good to go. Sorry, I didn't get to play it because 
Something's up with QuickTime right now, but anyway, yeah. So you may get an error. You may want to look into make sure you have the right all your codecs uh, up to date, meaning like QuickTime for MOV files, stuff like that, because that uh, caused me a problem once. So make sure your stuff is up to date if you get an error. And if you get an error, uh, what's great is and since Media Coder is made off of SourceForge, it has a great like Media Coder wiki. They have a wiki on their site. Uh, great FAQ and just a great community to help you out there. So yeah, guys, um, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. So you can use. You can even use Media Coder to transcode uh, stuff to PSP format, iPod format. So ZDK, Snap, try uh, Media Coder and keep vid.com. Hope that helps you guys. I uh, hope that helps other people as well. Thanks for listening, guys.